Hi everyone, this is Dan from Kid Design, and today in our tutorial on Autodesk Tinkercad, we'll be looking particularly at the Duplicate tool and how can you use that tool to make patterns, whether linear, rectangular, circular, uh, or whatever ones you're making. Patterns. Now, instead of having a separate pattern tool like most uh, 3D software uh, packages offer, uh, Tinkercad has a very simple but very smart tool of, uh, du for duplication. So, with just making duplicates, um, you can start creating patterns because it remembers the last action you did, what you did to that duplicate, and then continues that. Let me show you how that works in practice. Let's say we have a simple cylinder that we want to make a, a pattern with. Um, so if you select that cylinder, this whatever object you've created, and click Control D or Command D on Mac, it now placed the duplicate right above it. If I move that um, new object to the side, for example, I've moved it by 25 millimeters. If I click Command D again, without deselecting it, without doing anything else, it will just continue duplicating it every 25 millimeters. So that's a very simple way of moving, creating multiple of that item in a line. Now, you can do the same now if you want to create a rectangular pattern. You would make a line and then you would select all of them together. Again, click Command D and move that one again by 25 millimeters. Not click anything else, but click Command D, Command D, Command D, and once more. So now you've, in a very quickly way, you've made a pattern of 36 cylinders. And let's say you want to get rid of the ones in the middle. You can look at it from the top. I recommend switching to orthographic view. You select all the ones in the middle. And let's say you've made this kind of fence-like structure. Right, that's cool. What if you want to make a pattern that's circular? Well, you can do that in a very similar way. Let's get rid of all of them and let's say we want to have this kind of check 5 by 4 by 4 and we want to duplicate this one circularly. So you select the object you want to duplicate Click Command D. Again, it's right in the middle. And now instead of moving it, you rotate it. Let's rotate it by 20 degrees. Again, without clicking anything else, click Command D, Command D. Many, as many times as you want. And there we go. We've created a pattern. And they're all separate objects. So you can just simply select all of them group them and you have an interesting flower-like shape or a snowflake, whatever you want to call it. That is now one object. That is a circular pattern. And then there's another quite interesting uh, version. So you can create a pattern from a move, you can create a pattern from a rotation, but you can also create a pattern from scaling. So let's make a, uh, let's say we want to use a box again. Let's make a, this time I'm going to make a box which is flat, more like some kind of platform. And let's make it a little bit taller. If I now duplicate this shape and I want to raise it up so that it's right on top of it, you see here, it's right on top, and I scale it down, and now I click Command D again, it will start creating a pyramid of these. And again, I can go as much as I like 
to make it. So it remembers the action you've done to the last duplicated object. So in this case, we've scaled it and we've moved it up. And it will do the same. So basically, what we did to this one will be copied to this one. So it scales it the same amount and it moves it up the same amount. So it's quite nice and proportional and you can really quickly make uh, interesting shapes like this. And lastly you can try combining all three, move, rotate and uh, scale. So you can start creating really interesting shapes. Say so you want to duplicate this one move it up, rotate it by 20 degrees, scale it down. So we've moved it up, we rotated it, and we scaled it down. And if I click Command D again, it will do the same with the smaller bits. So it's really becoming pretty cool. Alright, thanks for watching this tutorial. We have a couple more, and if you've missed the previous ones, do have a look at them. Thanks.